Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. I know I've been MIA from YouTube, but a lot of things have been going on. Um, this is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me video. It's probably going to take a while because I haven't been on camera for a long time, so it's probably going to be a while. Um, so get yourself a snack, whatever you want to do. Um, just a lot of things hit me all at once, so I'm just going to start off this video with what's been going on. Um, my daughter got pneumonia. She got sick. She had a really high temperature, uh, so she was off from school for a while, so I was taking care of her. Then I got sick. Then my boyfriend got sick, and now we found out that we are moving again, so a lot of things are just hitting me all at once, especially around the holidays. And then there's a lot of stress with that as well. Um, not the fact of shopping and buying things. It's the fact of having to drive 45 minutes to the closest mall. That's how close the mall is to me. Well, how far it is to me. I have to drive 45 minutes every time I want to go shopping. That's where all the shopping th you know, places are, like Kohl's, the mall, Ulta, Sephora, Target. Everything is 45 minutes away, so it's quite a drive. And it's very stressful because it's, it's just hard. But I did do a lot of shopping. I got a lot of my stuff done, but I still need to get so much more. And I only have the rest of this week because my daughter's last day of school is the 19th. So I only have a certain amount of time to get my shopping done and I need to get it done. So that's what's been going on. Now let's get this video started. I am going to start off by priming my eyes with my NARS. Pro Prime, and this is going to be hard because I am not sitting in my normal spot. I am by my tree, and I can barely see what I'm doing because of the light by my mirror, so I can't really see. And Mama needs to get her eyebrows done bad, as you guys can probably see. I won't be doing my eyebrows in this video because that's what I'm about to do when I'm done. So, prime my eyes. And oof, dog hair everywhere. So today, for today's eye look, we are going to be using the BH Party Girl palette. And I've been playing with this. And I just love the color selection here. I'm going to do a separate video of swatches of this, but I'm sure everybody and their mother knows what it looks like. So I wanted to do like a kind of like a holiday look, even though I'm not wearing holiday clothes. I just wanted to do a holiday look. So I'm going to take out my it brushes here. I told you it's going to be a long video, so grab yourself a snack, whatever you got to do. Because I'm not quite sure what I'm going for yet. But first we're going to start off with a crease color. And I think I'm going to use... Sorry, I'm like in the way. Uh, let's see if you guys can see. This color right here, it's like a creamy color. So I'm going to pop that in my crease. You guys probably can't even see this. You're not alone because I can't see it either. And then I have just like a little mini Ulta haul towards the end. Just a couple of things I picked up. And I have so many freaking hauls to upload. I just haven't had time. So I just put that color in my crease. Then I'm going to take the shadow brush and pick up this red color here. It's kind of like not too red but it's red because I want to do a holiday look red and green that's what I'm going for people I'm looking in my mirror Thank you. 
So I'm just taking that red and packing it all on the lid. I'm gonna do a red and green look. You know, but that's what I wanna do. The pigmentation and the colors are so beautiful and BH is having a huge sale today. Cyber Monday sale. Do you see that color? You probably can't because of the light. Now we're going to go in with a green color. And I don't know which green one I want to use. I'm going to use this shimmery green. And we're going to put it on the out of V. And in the crease. Just a smidgen. It is pouring right now. I wish this had a mirror. Right now, I can't even see. Can you guys see the red and the green? Probably not. Now I'm going to take a lighter green and blend it. So I want to do a once upon a time looks. The people from once upon a time. I want to do a collaboration of their looks. So we got red and green on. And that's pretty much all I'm doing to my eyes. For now, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not because of my tree. Let me try turning the light down. Maybe you guys can see it better now. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Apologies. I don't know. I don't know why you guys can't see it, but... Yeah, so... Just have some red and green on my eyes. I can see it very well and it looks pretty nice. I don't know, probably because of my Christmas tree. Whatever. I suck at making videos. Let's just put it that way. I'm just going to put my brushes away until I can clean them. And now we're going to move on to... I'm in my under eyes. I'm sorry. I'm just there's a lot going on, and I'm just I can't think straight. Using my Smashbox under eye primer. I've been doing so much shopping though, and it seems like I haven't gotten a lot. The only thing my daughter really wanted was a laptop. She, I mean, she's got every other kind of technology there is, like an iPad, an iPod, all that stuff. Now I'm going to prime my face with the IT Cosmetics number 50 Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer, because this 
is my holy grail. I'm looking at my eyes right now and I'm like, it looks so cool. Red and green. Gotta do the Christmas colors. Okay, so for foundation, and the brush I'm using is the It Velvet Lux LBD Foundation Brush. And I'm going to be using my Philosophy Miracle Worker. Two pumps. This brush is amazing. Highly recommend it. So I'm just going to start dabbing it on my face. My hair gets out of the way. It just makes your foundation go on in like literally 2.5 seconds. You are done. And I love it. I'm so glad I picked it up. So yeah, I love Christmas. I love the decorations. I love the whole idea of it. But the people here in Memphis are so rude. Rude, crude, and unattractive. Oh, I love this brush. I don't know what I would do without it, baby. But anyway, the trip, the 45 minute trip is worth it because the Sephora that they have here is unbelievable. Okay, next. I'm losing my mind. I don't even know what to do next. Oh, I'm going to set my foundation with my Rimmel Stay Matte. And I got this one. This is in creamy beige, and I have the translucent one. This one is actually in creamy beige. If you don't set this with something, well, any foundation as it is, but especially this one and the It one, you will definitely be looking like a disco ball. But I don't have oily skin, so I don't have to worry about that, but you have to set it. Either way. Okay, concealer. First, I'm going to use my It Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector Con Concentrated Cream in medium with the other side of the brush. And I'm not rubbing, I'm patting. this concealer now I can't pick up the top are you serious okay there we go <laughs> oh, then I'm gonna go in with my bye bye under eye in neutral medium and literally just take the teeniest amount
that's like all you need. I really don't have anything else to say except I've been really stressed sick all that kind of stuff my daughter was sick and when she was sick and had pneumonia it was the most she's had pneumonia once already or twice already actually and nothing worse than seeing your kid really sick taking them to the doctor and the doctor doing what they have to do and then you doing what you have to do, but seeing them sick and coughing and doing what you can do, but you feel like you're not doing enough because, I don't know. You, do you guys get what I'm saying? Hopefully you do. I just hate seeing my child sick. Then I'm going to take my It Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. And a Real Technique setting brush. And set the under eyes so they're not so... white looking because I don't really like the highlighted effect under my eyes. I just want to cover up my dark circles. And somebody's calling me but they're going to have to wait. Okay, I told you this was going to be a long video. Anyway, I have to go get my um, nails fixed, my ho-ho-ho nails. I love them so much, I need to go get them fixed. Okay, next, bronzer, I'm using the Bombs, the Bahama Mama, Bahama Mama, Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama on a Real Techniques contour brush. I usually like to use this for concealer, but today I'm going to use it for its purpose. I'm not really contouring too much. Just adding some color to myself, even though I'm already dark as it is. Don't tell me the sun's coming out now. This is an awesome bronzer. Are you kidding? And for blush, baby, I'm using my new NARS blush, the limited edition one in Elmira on this It live beautifully flawless brush I'm just gonna tap it in there Can you guys see that blush? Oh, it's gorgeous. Maybe now you can see me better. And for a highlighter, I'm using the Balm Cindy Luminizer because this has been my go-to. I'm just going to take that Real Technique setting brush because it's so tiny and like the perfect and I'm just going to go like that and above my eyebrow. Right here. And my chin, cubic bow.
If you don't highlight above your brow, do it. It'll make a difference, trust me. I'm sure everybody does, but whatever. Some people don't. Okay, just about done here. Now we have to do the eyes and the lips, and we are done, people. So for eyeliner, I am using my Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner Crayon and Onyx because this is my favorite, and I can barely see. Ah, there we go. Maybe you guys can see my eyes now. See the red and the green? I like it. For mascara, I am using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I do not wear false lashes. I hate them. each to their own. Then I'm going to take this Tarte eyeliner in Jungle Green and I'm going to do a line on the top. That worked out well. Last thing is lips. I'm using the NARS Hardwire Lipstick from the Holiday Collection in Femme Fleur. Oh, I love this lipstick. Then I'm going to top it off with my It Cosmetics CC Plus Lip Serum, Enjoy to the World. Mm. Like these two were meant for each other. So that is it. That's my look. Hope you guys can see this. Let's see if you guys can see it. Let's do a little close up. Not bad, not bad. And then I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Ulta. Just a little something, something, but. I picked up my Body Shop, uh, what's it called, Body Butter in the Shea Body Butter, the big boy, because it was only like 10 bucks. Then I picked up this Kenra Volume Mousse Extra Firm Hold Mousse, and this is amazing. Then I picked up another IP brush. This is the Airbrush Blending Crease Brush, number 105. So this is, this is what it looks like. 
So I pretty much have my IT brush collection complete. So this brush costs 14 bucks. This right here costs 22. The body shop thing costs 10. I didn't get that many things, but what I did get cost me over a hundred dollars, which is ridiculous because it's not that much stuff. But I just wanted to share you, with you guys my little mini haul, and I'm not going to open this brush because it's going to be forever. And then I picked up two it stuff, but I picked up also picked up these two little Japanese travel size makeup brush cl cleaners because these are my favorite, so had to get them for traveling. So I picked up another It Cosmetics Vitality Cheek Flush in Radiant and Rose. And this was the first shopping trip I did. I did another one, but I don't want this video to be too long. It's just a beautiful color. So that's that. Then I finally got, this is the last thing, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lid Lines. Now this blush right here was 20 something bucks and this was 20 something bucks. So I, in that one, this these couple of things I got cost me over a hundred bucks. But this is supposed to be a eyeshadow primer. Um, and it's supposed to, you know, it's all, got all the ingredients that it has. And it is huge, and I cannot wait to try it because I have everything else it. Sad to say, I do not like their mascara. But this costs like 24 bucks. So I'm saying if you go there and you're going to buy it cosmetics, be prepared to spend a lot of money because it costs a lot of money for it. But it's worth it because it's my favorite brand. I don't like anything else. So look how cute that is. The packaging. And it's just a translucent color. I just can't wait to try this to see how it performs. So yeah, those are the things I picked up on my first trip. And this video is already 28 minutes long, so I'm going to end it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little get ready with me chit chat, long ass video. Um, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.